Hello everybody, Dom601, Warren Victory here, and here I am with a special Halloween video, yes, if you are seeing this right now, I'm able to upload the video on Halloween. I apologize for not uploading last week because I had tests and I had to revise, and so I've got tests coming up next week as well, so uploads will most likely be limited. And... Of course, with of of course, with this being Halloween, I thought, well, why don't we do well, 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 why don't I do a Halloween video? So I set up, so I set up a poll, a, a poll on my community tab. I had two possible ideas, in which one was I could review very bad dinosaur figures, also known as the Hasbro Jurassic World figures. Or, I could go over what scared me as a child. What things from TVs, what things from TV and movies scared me the most as a child. And happily, you guys didn't choose the dinosaur option for once. <laughs> right, so, so, of course, as we're all growing up, we're all scared of things. Uh, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think... <laughs> I, ha I had an idea when I was walking into this about something that I used to be scared of. Yes, 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 yes! I used to be scared of this Halloween short called Scared Shrekless. This silly Shrek short where Shrek characters sit down and tell horror stories. I was terrified of Gingy's story for, for, little, for little Gingerbread Man. And, to, and still to this very day, I still haven't watched it. Who knows? That might be next year's video. So, surprisingly, I actually asked my parents about, ooh, what scared me when I was well, when I was a child? And they couldn't think of anything. So, here I'm just going off my, going off my memory. So, I chose three main examples of things that used to scare me when I was a child. Two of them, yes, I can kind of get, but but one of them, one of them is sort of intended for kids. I hope people don't. I hope people don't take that take that out of context. So, let's get started. All right. The first thing that scared me when I was a child, I've got no clue what it, I've got no clue how I came across it. But it was the Xenomorphs from Alien. Uh, of course, these are designed by H.R. Geiger. These are meant to be scary. They, they succeeded at their goal to scare people. But... Pardon that, if you heard that, my dog's barking at the door. Who's kind of this time at night? Yeah, again, it is Halloween. <laughs> but it's not ever. Anyways, yes, these, they had, the, the design of the Xenomorph had the goal of scaring people, but, I was, I'm trying to think about how old I was, I believe I was like 11 when I first came across the Xenomorph, like yes, yes, I've heard of people. Was discovering the Xenomorph when they were like six, but these creatures really had their effect on me. They had me scared of the dark for weeks. Yet yeah, again, this is nothing compared to what Five Nights at Freddy's did to me, because that made me scared of the dark for literal years. And still, to this very day, I still don't like the dark, mainly because of that. I know, I'm 15. It's very, very silly. But, I remember, I remember it being one specific shot that made me scared of the alien. I, I, I can't describe the shot right now. R right, right, right now at this moment. But surely, during editing, I'm like, putting it in right now, it's just... It, 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 it's just a looming image of like of, of, of like a child near the camera 
with one long tail coming down from top of the up from the ceiling. That image horrified me when I was a child. And I actually watched Alien for the first time, I believe it was like a year or two ago. It was alright. wasn't horrifying. It wasn't even particularly scary. Joyce was kind of underwhelming. After, after all this, after all this build-up of being scared of the alien, I watched the movie and it didn't scare me. Woo hoo! <laughs> Growing up, one of my favorite shows was Primeval, and still to this very day, I'm very nostalgic for it. I, I, this, sh this show, still, still has, a, still has. A, Still has a place in my heart, because for for ages, this was my favorite TV show. And how old was I? How old, how old was I when I watched this? I believe it was twenty fourteen, twenty thirteen. So so I was either nine or ten when I came across Primeval. I I remember I I watched like the last three episodes. And then it just ended, and 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 then I remember, my parents went on Amazon and bought me the first three seasons. And yes, yes, I really enjoyed them. I probably should, I actually should, I should probably rewatch it. But I remember, out of every single episode, there was one that stood out to me. Wasn't my favorite. Wasn't my least favorite. This. This one actually generally scared me. It was the episode with the camel beast. I'm looking at it right now. And what the hell is this? What is this thing? This is setting off everything inside my head. What is this thing? It looks like a monkey combined with a human combined with a gremlin. What the hell is this? Don't know why it's just out of everything, out of every single creature shown in Primeval, this thing horrified me. I used to, I, I, I used to have a friend. I, I, I still I still do have a friend who used to watch this. And I remember for years, he really wanted to watch it, because I because I told him that this was like an episode that actually scared me. Out of everything that was in the show, and we've had T-Rexes, Giganotosaurus, giant bugs, even though, yes, I didn't like those episodes either. This thing scared me. How? Again, just looking at the design of it, it's horrifying. Just everything about it, w w with those big glowing eyes, along with the fact that it can camouflage into any environment. Like, like it, could, it could be behind me, it, it could have been behind me right now and I wouldn't even know. Why did I even watch this show when I was nine? Why? I should really be watching this episode. I, I, I might come back to it in the future. I might try to go over why this thing scared me. There's even a picture here of of the creature from Primeval with a gremlin. You will see what I mean. I'm, pro I'm probably putting up a picture right here. Just look at the damn thing. I hate this thing. I hate this thing. This thing's made me scared of going out into the streets. Because because I remember, I I when I've when I kind of had a social life, I used to go outside with friends with these friends who actually ended up being giant arseholes later on. I remember out in the street, in the black of night. I'd always be wary about my surroundings. Like, it was because of this thing. Because in the episode, this thing, this thing isn't restricted to to a house. This thing goes every it, it, it goes outside the house. It goes into the streets. 
it ne it nearly kills a little girl at some point to my memory. Out of everything, this thing scared me. In fact, I'm 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 just looking at a shot from it, right? There's a pic. There's just a picture of a shot from it, and that is setting off memories. I do not like this thing at all. <laughs> and now moving on to the tad re tad ridiculous thing, because yes, you can understand you can understand why why I'd be if why I would be afraid of these things when I was younger. But the next one is intended for children. Growing up, I loved. Scooby-Doo. And still, to this very day, I still have a soft spot, a soft spot for him. And I can't wait until my nephew, until my nephew and niece start watching it, so then I'll have an excuse to watch it. But, since I loved it growing up, I watched everything I could find Scooby-Doo related. And, yes, I've, I really enjoyed what I watched. But there's one thing that I didn't enjoy, because it actually scared me. It was Scooby-Doo Zombie Island. This thing horrified me. <sighs> like, but for, for this video, I watched reviews of it, because sadly, I couldn't find a legal way to watch it, because I don't think I own the DVD for it anymore. So, listening to the reviews, this is this is a, this is like an actual, if it, it's not dark but a darker version of Scooby Doo, and it, despite it being still being for children, it scared me. I think it's mainly because as a child, I didn't like zombies. And still to this very day, yes, I'm not scared of zombies, but I, I, I could probably take one on hand to hand. But a whole horde of them are fuck now. For a point, for a point that I'm trying to get to here, zombies, yes, I'm really, I'm really alright with them, but they do get to me. And this thing's get this movie incarnated everything I feared about them, not the Walking Dead, which at that point I did hear about. This, a Scooby Doo cartoon about zombies, scared me, scared a child. <laughs> Something that's intended for child, Scooby Doo, a child icon, scared me. <sighs> I remember. Watching it, and there being a scene where, where like these zombie pirates, rise up from the ground. And I remember, I used to be horrified that they would come, that, that they would come out of the ground at my house, in in well in the garden to be exact. I don't know why, just I, I was irrational back then. But as a child, things don't always need to make sense. And despite it having, from from what I heard, a quite a, a, it's a weird to say graphic. I'm just I'm just going to say graphic. A graphic scene. Well, it it doesn't show blood. It just shows a trans the transformation between a, a human and a giant furry cat. So this movie predicted furries. And. No, that didn't scare me. Not the furries. The zombies, which actually ended up being good guys in the end. Still at that point, their design alone horrified me. And still to this very day, I haven't watched it. Because first off, I can't legally, just like Primal. And... I still can't get over the fact that Scooby-Doo... 
A child icon of mine scared me. And that is really all I could think of. I couldn't really think of anything else. Because, surprisingly enough, unlike most kids, not a lot scared me. These were some of the few exam. <sighs> These were some of the few that did manage to scare me. And still to this very day, I don't say I scare. I, I don't think I scare easy easily. I remember, I went to see It's Chapter Two a few weeks ago. It barely got to me, but my friends jumped out of their seats. Smoked, well, my friend, and uh, his friend, his friend, my friend and his brother and my bro and his brother's friend, jumped out of the seats multiple times, and my friend got scared by a tree in Kroll. So, so I can say that to him. And, in case any of you guys are wondering, yes, I am wearing a Halloween costume! You might be wondering, but, but Indo, what is a Halloween costume? It's just a shirt, it's, it's just a shirt, it's just a normal school shirt. That is because I'm just up as most horrifying thing of all. A person with dreams and hopes. And that is where I'm going to end it. I hope you all have a great Halloween. And there is a non-sexual one. Rogue victory! Ah! <laughs>